evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Ontario. Last we left off, I was trying to rescue my friend Jill. Jill. And I picked just the right time. You came. Of course I did. Get back. Of course I came. Clive, how did you? I'll explain later. Hands. Can you walk? Out of here, I can. Good. <laughs> then let's walk out of here, shall we? Stand still. Phoenix, are you not the dominant of fire? I see naught before me but a guttering flame. Oh, here it comes. He's gonna fully prime. These are not flames of destruction. That's my bad. Mind you, this might give me answers. Can you go on? I think so. <sighs> but to where? Is he holding it back, too? Like... You... What did you do to Joshua? The Phoenix? Oh, I expect he will survive. This consciousness in which you coil your feeble souls is grown thick with desperation. Yes, it has. And thus has my master turned to my blade. The world will soon be painted in black. And mm -hmm. all that live shall gather in death's autumn wake. Not if we remove the cause of this misery. Not if we destroy the last of the Mother Crystals and restore balance to the world. Come. Do you truly think it's so simple? The blight is inevitable. Not even the Almighty might stop its endless march. 
Your efforts will avail us naught. Naught, that is. But suffering. You must embrace the truth, Mythos. Accept your place with the Lord. Keep it. As long as there's a chance, there's a choice. Ever led astray by your blind resolve. Now, it is time you learn the inevitability of your divine fate. However much it may hurt. You're semi-primed in this case. Get as far away as you can. Clive, no. Clive, yes. Trust me, Jill. We don't have to do this. No, we have to. But we do. If only to remind you of your duty. Defend yourself! In the short time since our last meeting, we have grown much. It is a vessel. I fear my lord will still find you. Lack. I don't think so. It's interesting that he's using the ignition warp, though. This fire and fury. For what? Stopping the blight. A foolish notion fed to you by a foolish man. How dare you? You know naught of this world nor of our place in it. If our fates were so easily rewritten, we would all be gods. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, I think not. I have seen enough. If reason cannot sway you, there are other means of persuasion that you know. Nice try. I'm not even hurting this guy. lost that fight. That's the only way I can explain that. Do you not see? Your iron will weighs you down, dragging you ever further from your purpose. And what is my purpose? Mythos. Who are we? What are the dominance? 
The breath of the Creator still warm on our lips. We carry his light that we might guide the masses in his name. We are but mighty acts of God. We are more than that! You would be nothing without what he has granted you. You're just mad, bro. The power we wield is his. And yet every time we draw upon it, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us. It unmakes us. That its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The icon. It is too much for even his chosen few. Apart from you, Mythos. You wield the might of many, yet your body does not answer for its avarice. What are you saying? What I am saying... ...is that we dominance are a means to an end. We were created for you. That you might drink deep of our strength, and thereby fulfill your divine purpose. Which is... ...to feed. As you would know, could you only look beyond the walls of your prison of self-regard. As long as you choose to ignore this, you shall never penetrate my defenses. Still, you may take solace in the fact that you are not alone in your plight. The chains of volition shackle all of mankind, but there is yet cause to rejoice. For the Lord, in his mercy, has taken pity on his flawed creations, and shall see them restored to their proper forms. Okay. And what exactly would that be? Why, loyal servants to God. No. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men, like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. You mean to turn everyone Akashic? Not turn, Mythos. Turn back. For too long has mankind been led astray by their clamorous wills. It is time they return to a world of quiet equality. Interesting. Where they might once more know salvation. Salvation? And abandon everything we hold dear? We don't need your salvation. We'll save ourselves, and we'll do it on our own terms. Not yours, and not your gods. With every defiant expression of your will, the tighter the chains of consciousness become. But perhaps that fact may be put to use. Hmm? And here comes the ocean. The faster it binds you to the remaining dominance, the stronger your hunger will become. Until it leads you back to the only answer there ever was. Mayhap not by the path my master intended, but back all the same. Fair enough. Ash is not far. I could freeze a path. You're in no fit state. Probably not, but I can try. Don't look back. I've lost. <laughs> I didn't really care for Giga Flare. 
I was handy, but eh. mind you, I probably didn't give it a fair shake either. The others are safe. They probably are. The Enterprise was clear of the gap when we fell. They made it, Jill. And they will have seen the ice. Where it led. We need only wait till dawn. This is the second time Barnabas has bested me. I'm powerless against him. And maybe there really is nothing else for it but to give yourself to his master. I disagree. Only you won't do that. The Clive I know would never do that. So you believe. But do you really know me? If what Barnabas said was true, then... Monster than man. And each time I summon the flames from within, I burn away the things that make me who I am. Do you, though? Think of what you've used that power for, of all the people you've saved. It doesn't matter how or by whom it was granted, only how you choose to use it. And you've chosen to use it for good, haven't you? I've also used it to kill. What if that's my purpose? What if it's all I'm good for? Mm, I disagree. Still that same boy I grew up with. Always so eager to save everyone around you, and yet always so alone. Because you failed to realize the one thing that needed saving most of all. You, Clive. You. You never once took the time to save yourself. Myself. I think I might be beyond saving. No one is beyond saving. Provided they want to be saved. You fight to survive. And you survive so that you may protect those you love. It's what you do. What you've mm. always done. Mm. And I know you're not about to change. So I'm going to help you. To give you what you need to protect us all. Gonna give me Shiva? Jill. Are you sure? If if this is what you want, then don't worry, Clive. It is. Oh no, more stuff I have to blur out. This burden, I'll give you the strength to bear it alone. But I'm not alone. And we never have been. These burdens I carry, my sins, my pain, my sorrow, I 
see now that they are all a part of me. We might one day look upon the moon again, together. <laughs> So each... And I promise you, Clive, that I will be there, no matter what you must become. Thank you. I know. I never thought a smile could bring me so much joy. More things to more things to blur out. But I digress. I'm assuming we're almost up with this video. Nope. That's okay. I'll be right back. What of Barnabas? Do we pursue him? No. Our paths will cross again soon enough. Whether we like it or not. Besides, there is something we must do first. Of course. Drake's spine. The last mother crystal. The Einherja is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on storm without her. But they know I coming don't now. think that Walud Only can really plan. move. I haven't seen their navy. A damn good one at that. Then let's go home and find one. Okay. Ash will have to wait. No, it won't. Oh. 
but we made it to Ash. That's all that matters. The promise. So, I'm going to head back here. If nothing happens, I will see you in the next video. One sec, though. That's what I thought. Mead says Odin split the sea in two. She's always been partial no. to a tall tale. But there's tall, and then there's tall. I struggle to believe it myself. I see your uncle isn't with you. He stayed with the Enterprise. After our brush with the Einherja, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. We're to join him there when we're ready to sell for Ash. I'm sure that's wise. Last I heard, the place was still overrun with a Kashyyyk. Show me a city where that isn't true. Ultima's plague is spreading. We're running out of time, aren't we? We've done our best to shore up that hideaway. But I doubt a few planks will stop what's coming. Still, we'll keep at it. Every little helps, I suppose. Let's hope so. We've gained the power of ice. I should visit Joshua. Assuming Tai will allow it. I should also talk to you. You need anything? You just ask. No. We might not have your uncle's resources, but resourcefulness, we've got in spades. Okay, and I just want to see also. Dive. Oops. You watch yourself out there, all right? Fancy a look at the list, do you? I do. Quick look. Under new management, rekindling the flame, trading places, duty undying. So we have a few uh, side quests to do. Always something in there. We have. No hunts. That's a plus. So thank you for joining me, everyone. My name has been Duke Rafe. Take care, stay safe, and have a great day. Bye bye.